So to sew an all in one facing, you first wanna cut out your fabric. So this here is my main fabric. And then I'm going to use a white as my facing fabric so that you can easily see the difference. And then you want to sew up the shoulder seams first. So you're gonna be sewing up the shoulder seams of the facing together. And then you're gonna be sewing up the shoulder seams of your main fabric together as well. So before you sew up the rest of your all-in-one facing, it's a good idea just to finish your hem on the bottom of the facing. So you can either do a zigzag stitch on a normal machine or you can hem it if you wanted to, or you can use an overlocker or a serger and just serge around the edge just so it's all nicely finished before you sew it all up and then you've got lots more fabric in the way. So now you want to just pin your necklines together with the right sides facing. So you're gonna have your main fabric like so and then your facing fabric with the right sides together of those, making sure you've got them the right way around. And then you just want to sew around those together. So pin them first and then sew them together. is you can understitch it. So what that means is you are basically stitching the facing down and it means that it won't peek out so much. So you're not going to be stitching on top of your main fabric, you're just going to be stitching a couple of millimetres inside your facing through all of the layers as well but just not the main fabric. You can sew through the seam allowance of the main fabric but not the main fabric. So just a few millimetres in from the edge, all the way around the neckline. So I've now understitched around here. I've also clipped into my curve and the more curved your curve is, the more often you're going need to need to do the snips. So I've done mine about every centimetre and a half. And then I've just pressed it as well because it's a lot easier to press now than when it's all finished. So I've just pressed around the neckline and it just means that you can't really see it when it's on the outside here. So then what you want to do is just lay it all flat. And we're gonna be doing what's called the burrito method you've probably seen it online called the burrito method so what you want to do is literally just roll up this section here like so and then flip this side back on itself so that rolled section goes inside which is why it's called the burrito method and then you're just going to match up everything so you need to pull the facing around here pull the facing around here and then you just wanna pin around here, which is one of my armholes, and then sew around there as well. around here make sure you're not sewing through any of the layers you've got inside here so you can just push them away as you're sewing around and then once you've done it you want to clip around any curved areas and again the more curved an area is the more snips you'll want to do and then we're just going to turn it the right way around I'm just gonna 
finish doing a couple more snips around this armhole. And then we can just turn it the right way through. So just gonna be bringing everything through here. And then what we're gonna do is exact same process with the other side. So you can see now it's really starting to come together like so. So we're gonna do the same with the other side. So just lay it flat, doesn't matter which way up you have it. And then start rolling this side up, coming towards coming towards the side you've not sewn yet, and then flip it so that you have that burrito roll section inside of there. So now you can pin around the other side of the armhole. So you, again, you just want to pin around here, sew it up, snip into it, and then you can turn it the right way around. to do an all-in-one facing and I've pressed it all just so it lies really neatly and then I'm ready to sew up my side seams and to do that I just flip this round so the right sides are together and then sew down my side seams finish off my hem and then I finish my top and you can of course use this same method if you're creating an all-in-one facing for the top of a dress or maybe the top of a jumpsuit or something similar as well Thank mm -hmm. you.